Hey guys, um, I just want to quickly go ahead and show you guys how to optimize GD for Geometry Hash version 2.207. This tutorial will help you for things such as FPS drops, frame drops in general, just stuttering and input delay. So this will just teach you how to go over those things. So obviously the first step guys is to go to settings here. And then what you want to do is you want to turn on game mode. Make sure to enable game mode always. It's pretty basic to know why. Then what you want to do is when you go to Windows updates and you want to check for updates. Um, for me, it says uh, 24H2 is available. But however, I don't really like 24H2. It's got a lot of issues and bugs for me. So I use 23H2. So if you, if you don't have any problems with it, go ahead and download it. Third of all, you want to go here. And you want to search graphics, graphics settings. What you want to do here is you want to find your Dash click options and then please ensure you click high performance just so it could uh, take full use of your GPU. Step two or part two to this tutorial is um, just the NVIDIA aspect of things. So if you have a NVIDIA GPU, this is the most important step. You want to search NVIDIA. If you don't have the NVIDIA app, you might want to download it from your browser. The link will be in the description. So you want to go to drivers here and you want to just use the latest driver if you have the latest driver that's all good you can close out of this and then go to the video control panel so there's a couple of things you'll uh, need to know here i'm going to click adjust image settings with preview here go here click this make sure it's uh, dragged out on performance and then just click this again and then press apply you need to press apply for both actually you want to go to configure surround physx and then also make sure your GPU is selected. Don't click this or this. Make sure it's at your GPU exactly. You want to click apply. Then you want to come to manage 3D settings. This part is a bit of the longest, but it's the most important step for your game. So image scaling off, ambient occlusion off, anisotropic filtering off, FXAA anti-aliasing off, this gamma correction on, mode off these two parts are literally grayed out for me so i'm just going to skip that this application max frame rate off cuda gpus please make sure you choose all and then choose your gpu over here this part you want to choose prefer system and fallback dsr factors off low latency mode for now on the global settings just use on for max frame rate you can just choose off it'll just you know use You'll use your maximum if you turn this off. Fix refresh, make sure you use fix refresh. Do not use G-Sync on GD. Do not use G-Sync on GD and never do that. Make sure this is off. Make sure this one's set to auto. Make sure this is set to your GPU. Choose your GPU here. Prefer maximum performance over here. Highest available, always. Shader cache size, I'd say between 10 or 100 depends on what kind of pc you have anisotropic filtering or anisotropic sample options on negative lod bias allow for this uh, specific setting here you want to use it depends on your gpu right if you've got like a good gpu you want to use quality if you've got like a mid-range gpu mid-end cpu a uh, gpu you want to use performance and if you've got like a really low-end gpu a really cheap one then you want to use high performance Trilinear optimization on. Threaded optimization for now. Keep this on auto because this is just the global settings. We're going to change some things afterwards. Uh, triple buffering off. Vertical sync or V-sync. For global settings, I would advise you use, use the 3D application settings just for now on you know the global settings. Then these one off auto. What you want to do is you want to click apply. Then afterwards, you want to come here to the program settings. You want to find GD. If you can't find GD, just press add over here. And then I believe you could browse for it. So I advise, like if you go here, you can see here, you can just look for it here. If you can't find it, you can add a selected program. And then we can just uh, go on about that. So you want to click GD. And there's only going to be a couple things we're going to change here, right? So first of all, please do not use threaded optimization on GD. Never. Never use it. It causes stuttering and it just makes your game so 
just it just doesn't make your game run good all right make sure triple buffering is also off and then also ensure the low latency mode here we turn it to ultra ultra for zero input delay right then what you want to do is you want to click apply and then essentially you want to go to change resolution here please make sure when you come here you choose pc go don't go here come here and make sure you use the highest refresh rate of your monitor then you want to click apply now the third step to this whole tutorial this third part is to ensure that you know you have the the right power settings and also the right game settings so you want to search the control panel right here then also you want to type here power options or just power then click choose a power plan please make sure it's on high performance because if it's on balance you're not really using the maximum performance of your pc you're not using the maximum potential of your pc so please ensure that you got high performance now what we are going to do here is we're actually going to boot the game up so get your geometry dash launched and there are some very important things in here that you're gonna need. So this part is for people with mega hack. So you wanna click tab. And then under the universal tab, you just wanna click thread priority. And then please ensure it's on high. I wouldn't advise highest because you know it will use too much of your CPU. And I don't really think that's really good. So I advise you stick to high. Then also, um, for people that don't have mega hack, when it comes to FPS values, you want to go to options. Uh, sorry, you want to go to graphics, and then you want to click advanced here. And then there are things that you need to know. So, for maximum input delay, if you want to have no input delay, turn off vertical sync. It's not really you know good for the competitive side of the game. You want to turn off smooth fix because you know it just causes your game speed to run slower if you're lagging. You want to click unlock fps here and then make sure it's on 240 regardless of your you know monitor if it's like 240 hertz or below use 240 fps if you're using cbf just stick to fps values like 60 80 120 240 for monitors lower than 240. if your monitor is higher than 240 i'd say use 480 fps since it's literally the double of 240 exactly double and it's you know it, it runs smoother for you know monitors with a higher refresh rate than 240 so that's all you're gonna really need and also come here to options and then uh, move over to the performance tab you want to turn this on increase draw capacity i haven't really seen any problems with it regardless of like what device you have unless you're maybe on like phone if you have like a crappy phone don't turn this on but even if you have like a low-end pc and you click this and turn it on i think your game will also be running really well so that's uh, pretty much it for the geometry dash side of things now part four for this whole entire thing is um you want to get timer resolution and then you want to run it as administrator um the link to time resolution will be in the description so essentially when you open time resolution i think the default would say um 1.00 zero milliseconds and when you click maximum it should said it should say 0 0.500 if it says 0 0.500 it's it's all right it's done good but if you see like a value like 0 0.497 or 0 0.496 and it comes up with like some you know bullshit milliseconds over here uh, there's a way to actually fix that um you want to go to command prompts and then run as admin and then um i have the, the command to my notepad over here so if you see here, you want to click this and then just like copy and paste like this over here. And you just want to see says operation completed successfully. You want to do the same thing for this. And then you want to click enter. And then after when you're done, you just want to restart your PC to actually ensure that the settings have been enabled. So time resolution just like reduces input delay by essentially half, I guess, if it's from 1 to 0 0.5. It literally just halves your input delay according to the values so that's something that you should be keeping in mind so for the fifth part and final step for this entire tutorial you're going to want to use something known as four gigabyte patch i'm going to link it down in the description for you to download and install but essentially what it does is it takes x86 or 
32 bit executables and turns the cap from the memory from two gigabytes to four gigabytes so it just uh, allows the game to run much better i don't know if it changed 2.2 if it went from a 32 bit to 64 bit but according to my file path here it says x86 so i'll just be assuming that um it's still 32 bit so you want to find the file path once you open four gigabyte patch the file path will be in the description if you use steam uh, it's going to be the same for everybody so you want to find it then you want to double click geometry dash and they'll say executable successfully patched this means it worked and this means it's patched obviously so that should be the final step to optimize your game if you've made it this far into the video then i'm gonna assume that your game is running just perfect and your performance has been like drastically improved so if your performance has improved a lot just drop a like in the video please it'll be uh, very grateful and uh, have a nice day